you guessed it, I got a new guitar. <laughs> you can't really see it in this darker light, but um, it's actually a what? A Carvin ST300 with bare knuckle war pig pickups. And uh, I'm actually playing, instead of playing out of my uh, Mesa Boogie uh, triple rectifier, I actually have a rectifier clone by a company called R&R, &R, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a preamp, and it sounds just like a dual rectifier. It's heavy as fuck. Um, and then uh, the preamp is a Marshall um, 8,080-watt 8, uh, power amp. Uh, I'm also running it through a Rocktron Hush 2C. <laughs> running my uh, Fortin 33 on this too um, so yeah so every once in a while uh, someone will ask if a Carvin guitar is good for playing heavy music and uh, the ST30 with uh, War Pigs definitely does um, and let me straighten that out a little bit uh, I'll actually unplug this and throw on my other Carvin This is a carbon that I bought a few weeks ago. This one actually has the original, um, uh, actually the bridge is the an original Carvin, so is the first single coil. The center is actually a Seymour Duncan hot rail. So, and then uh, it has three switches, so it's all 
on off and all these different ways that you can <laughs> That's me powering my uh, powering it through my little rack system. So you'll see. So I have a Marshall. It's just a valve state. So it's a uh, A and B. It's eight thousand eight with a Hush two C and um, SLLD. If you can see that, that's the um, Mesa Boogie clone uh you can actually buy them they're from russia so if you buy them it may take a while i just happen to be lucky that some guy in oregon either oregon or washington state was selling it um and then uh and then of course old school i have a, a digitech uh, gsp 21 pro for multi effects i bought that thing because i loved it as a little kid but when you're 16 years old and you're broke and you're a little puerto rican kid from brooklyn without uh 500 bucks to spend you wait until you're in your 40s to buy that thing for $25 <laughs> with the foot pedal. So uh, typically you'll find it for in around 75 to 100. I happen to be lucky. Some guy was just like, listen, I haven't used this thing in years. I don't even know if it works. Um, I'll sell it for 25 bucks, free shipping. It, I think shipping was like 10 bucks. So he basically got 15, less than 15 because then he had to pay 10% uh, to, uh, <laughs> to eBay and then three and a half percent to PayPal. Uh, but he just, in the end, just wanted to get rid of it, and the thing worked perfectly. He said he hasn't used it in about 15 years. Uh, it worked perfectly with the pedal, too. So, um, But those are the things that you can find. Um, the case, I actually paid locally. I think it was 30 bucks from some guy in the area. Um, so it's a four-rack space. I have a 12-rack also. That thing's loaded with a bunch of other things. I actually have another Digitech uh, GSP-21 Legend on that one. Uh, with a Marshall 9002 preamp and a Marshall 9002 power amp and a bunch of other things. Draw a two rack space drawer just so I can put pedals in there and cables. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you've never considered uh, you know, having a rack system, they're absolutely amazing. Thing sounds exactly like my Mesa Boogie, which is if you were to buy that thing used, I mean, I got a good deal on this one um, because I bought it as a half stack. Did I? No, I bought this one as, a, as just the head. Um, but the preamp, I mean, this whole thing, the GSP-21, the SLLD, the Hush 2, and the Marshall, I think that all together was like 500 bucks versus getting this used for about a thousand. Um, and, and then the cabinet, you know, I, I got that one for... 400 from some guy that bought a guitar and a Mesa Boogie half sack and uh, he had already gotten rid of the head and just wanted to unload it. The guy played for like two years. He's like, oh, I just bought a bunch of equipment and just wanted to get rid of it. So I bought that thing for 400 bucks. Um, and it's a Mesa Boogie 412 rectifier cabinet. It's the tall one. It's the 28 inch. Um, so yeah, you know, I mean, if you're patient, you can definitely find really good deals out there. Um, again, if you haven't, and I can't stress Mike Fortin's, uh, I'm just unplugging this, get the Fortin 33. This thing is insane. Insane. Um, while you're at it and you're getting the 33, get the grind because it's sick too. <laughs> and then get a silencer just in case you get some, some, uh, feedback or anything. I love my Maxon OD808. That thing is awesome. So is, believe it or not, um, this MXR Boost line driver. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. It's a heavy little fucking bugger, but um, but it's cool. What else do I have? Hold on. Be patient with me. Hold on one second. I don't think I've ever gone through any of my pedals, and they're all behind this half stack. So these are two fun pedals. So one is, this is actually a, uh, <laughs> the dreaded and terrible um, 
boss metal zone unless you get it modded so it's a Bogner uh, boogie combo so depending on which of the two toggles you use it'll either sound like a Bogner uh, Ubershall or any you know rectifier pedal and piggybacking on that I also have a Dr. Boogie uh, rectifier pedal. This thing is absolutely awesome. It's it's huge. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's almost the size of my freaking head. Um, absolutely insane pedal. Um, this guy apparently, the guy that made that made these, I want to say he either works, maybe he works for MXR. He works for Dunlop now. Um, and but he actually made a bunch of these. So if you get the chance, um, check eBay and hopefully you'll you'll find one. Um, but this is absolutely amazing. This actually makes any amp you have basically into a rectifier. Um, and, and it actually does a really great job. Um, you know, just to give you an idea, I actually have a, um, a Marshall JCM 800. And that has its own kind of distinct uh, sound. And with that pedal, um, with the Dr. Boogie, it sounds incredible. Randall Face Punch. Uh, this one was actually worked on by Mike Fortin, has his autograph right there, the date, and uh, the capacitor that he actually changed. Um, so this doesn't sound like your typical phase punch, uh, because he changed the capacitor. I just happened to, not even joking, I ended up just buying it, and some guy was like, yeah, it's a Mike Fortin product, and... When I got it, I, I saw that, and I reached out to Mike, and he was like, yeah, yeah, dude, that's definitely one of the pedals that I, uh, that I worked on, and, uh, and I have a Mike Fortin original face punch that he kind of played around with after, and then, then I have the Randall MOR, the Randall Moore, so it's a boost, sounds good, it's definitely not a, uh, a grind or 33 it's different but you can check that out too I'm trying to see what other pedals I have along here ah, that's right I'll do a, another video one day with just my pedals so carving guitars absolutely awesome uh, Fortin pedals awesomer and um, the SLLD uh, preamp awesomest so, all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Oh, hey, I'm actually getting a, a new used Jackson Dinky reverse headstock granite um, from the mid-90s, and that's actually going to come in tomorrow. So I'll make a video with that just to play, uh, just so you guys can, can hear that. Uh, but I've been going guitar crazy lately, if you haven't noticed. And I do that sometimes, and then 